Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is, is Fish or Price, Price Ranch. Ranch. everyone, welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So we're officially four days away from our next kidding season. Um, but the first one that's due, we didn't actually see her breed, so it's more of a guess that we start kidding season in four days. Um, today's the 11th, and so we have one that's possibly due on the 15th, and then the rest are due the 20th. 21st and 22nd and then and that includes seven of them due in those three days and then we have one late one due on the 25th so we're gonna go out and check on the girls and see how they're looking everybody's out enjoying the sunshine we've had a whole bunch of storms roll through for the last week we've had rain snow 50 mile an hour winds uh, it's been a bit crazy um, but everybody seems super happy and enjoying this nice weather. There's almost no wind. It's nice and sunny today. Still a little chilly, but everybody's looking like they're enjoying that sunshine, soaking it up. And here's the crazy girls. What are we doing, huh? Huh? What are we doing? Storm and Rogue. And then Captain, which is Rogue's brother, left to his new home yesterday. So all we have left are these two girls. And then we have Thor, who's the dad to these two girls. And we have Hulk, who is the bro half brother to these two girls. Um, so anyway, well, let's see. We have um, nine goats that are due. This one is my, the one I'm most excited about. This is Ebony. Um, but I'm getting a little bit nervous, and I'm going to show you why. If she'll stand up for me. Hi, sweetheart. I know I hate to make you get up, but can we see your udder today? Thank you. <clears throat> so her udder has been absolutely massive, and uh, today it actually looks pretty good. Let's see if she'll walk. Yep, there she goes. Um, it's very massive. Look at her vulva. Oh my goodness. The babies are just going to fall out of you. Um, but what's making me nervous is her udder has fluctuated <laughs> uh, quite a bit. And basically what that means is <clears throat> it looks pretty full some days. Then some days it's lopsided. Some days it looks a little smaller, um, which today it looks smaller, but even... I have a bad feeling that somebody is nursing off of her, um, and she hasn't even given birth yet. And so, basically what that means is, is as soon as her kids are born, I'm going to have to give them colostrum. After that, they'll be fine. They can nurse off of her, no big deal. Um, but the problem is, whoever is stealing milk off her, which I don't even know why she's in milk already, um... But they're stealing that colostrum from her babies that aren't even born yet. So, and the thing is, I haven't been able to catch who it is. Um, not that there's much I can do. But like I said, what we'll do is we'll just, as soon as her babies are born, I'm going to bottle feed them a bunch of colostrum um, that I have saved from Pinky. She always gives us a whole bunch of colostrum every year. Um... And colostrum is super important for the health of the babies. So that's what we're going to have to do. And then, like I said, after that, it should be fine. Um, hopefully with babies nursing on or whoever is stealing milk will no longer get any. Um, but anyway, so i got to keep a really close eye on, on her for whenever she has her babies so I can make sure they get what they need. Boys, how we doing, huh? How's it going? Hi, Orion. How are you doing? I know, here comes the dogs, always so jealous. All right, then we also have Willow that's due, and she gave us twin girls last year. Um, this year she's bred with Bazooka, so I'm super excited to see 
um, how she does for us. She's a great mom. That's her daughter that we retained from last year out of Paladin. And then take a quick scan. Nobody else over here that is pregnant. Let's see who else we got. Found one. Are you moaning? I know. So this is Primrose. Uh, she'll be a second freshener this year. Last year she gave us triplets as a first timer. Um, and she doesn't look very small this year. So it'll be interesting to see how many she has this time. Um, her udder is looking phenomenal. I know. I'm going to make you get up. I got to check on everybody, okay? There's her nice udder coming in. Um, so it'll be interesting. This year she is bred to Whiskey. Hey, Lunaria. Anybody in here with you? No? Okay. And then we have Evie, the big girl in the back. She has given us two sets of kids so far. Her belly's always big, um, but look at that belly. And the first year she gave us triplet does. Last year she gave us twin does. So we're hoping she keeps up her track record and gives us more girls. She's also bred to whiskey. All right, we also have Bonnie that's due. She is bred with bazooka. Hi, oh, Miss Bonnie. She's getting ready to start shedding her cashmere. Look at all that. Hi, oh, sweetheart. Oh, you're fine. I won't make you get up, I'm sorry. You can kind of see her udder coming in. Finn, she's the first one that we're thinking is due on the 15th. She's a little bit wild. I know, I'm gonna make you get up. There you go. Little udder, she'll be a first timer bred to whiskey. And then we have Sabrina here. She's also bred to whiskey. Fingers are crossed for a girl. She's given us boys for the last few years. Daphne is our late one. She's not due till the 25th, bred to our new guy, Oki. All right, our last one due is Sequoia here, and she is bred to dragon. So we're really interested to see what color the babies will be, if they'll be speckled or spotted or probably get no color and they'll be solid. <laughs> Who knows? But that's Brandon's one goat that he owns. So hopefully she'll do well for him. All right, you guys. Well, that's kind of our update on the girls. Um, hopefully we'll have another video of them with babies here in the next couple of days. So we'll keep you updated. See you soon.